Hey everyone, how are you doing? My name is Kevin and this is the Filmmaker's Formula where we talk about shortcuts to creative filmmaking. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is to steal a cool effect from a popular video so you can add it to your arsenal of editing techniques. So if you're into that stuff, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Today we're taking a look at the music video that popped on my radar called Red Room by Offset. The main effect that caught my eye was the panning used in this video. It's a pretty neat transition to tie two scenes together. It kind of just melts into one another. Panning is one of those things that if you had two people, it'd be pretty easy. But if you're going solo at this, there are still some things you can do. You can use one of these. That was called a slider, and it's one of those things that's really nice to have if you're doing product shots or just doing some simple pans. A step above that would be a motorized slider, which can get quite pricey. But luckily, there is another way you can do this. It's sort of a hack. You know how most footage on YouTube these days are mostly 1080p? Well, if you have 4K footage, you can take advantage of this trick. 4K is essentially twice the size as 1080p, which means we can zoom into 4K footage and get more room on the left and right of the frame and still not lose resolution for YouTube, which is just enough to sell the panning effect without panning. If we take a closer look at the music video, you'd see some distortion on the edges of the frame, and that would be from the wide angle lens they're using. We can replicate that effect by using an effect called lens distortion and you just want to turn that curvature up a bit. Transitioning between two of your footages is also not that difficult. You can just pan along a door frame or a tree. The theory is just to have something to block the camera. Then you can attach the other scene in post. Another thing you can do is to take a picture of an obstacle then cut that shape out in Photoshop and import it into Premiere. So that's what we're gonna do. Once you have both of your footages and a picture of an obstacle imported into Premiere, align them together so they look like they are adjacent rooms. You can always mask and feather the edges a bit to make the effect look more realistic. Then the rest is all about setting keyframes and moving the entire stack from left to right. Then there you have it. Hope you learned something from this video. If you're new here, we're all about recreating those cool editing tricks you see on the interwebs. So remember to subscribe if you like that stuff. Be sure to check out some of the other videos from last week. And until the next video, I'll catch you later.